Um, again, Caramel Shoes Healing is not going to be as massive as like someone like Snapdragon or Icicle Yeti, uh, but definitely with the uh, friendly health buff, the extra attack, defense, and HP helps out in uh, allowing these two to deal more damage. Uh, Elder Fairy to be a little bit more tanky. Uh, Snapdragon to get that extra attack to increase the overall healing as well. Alright guys, so I've talked about Caramel Shoe and in the initial video of the review, I've kind of talked about how really she's not going to be a good cookie and you probably should stay away. Uh, that has changed slightly after seeing this comp, but still in my opinion, just to let you guys know that you technically don't need to use this comp. You can still use the older comps. You can still use uh, what you guys have with like Parfait Snapdragon or like, you know, Icicle Yeti with, um, you know, the other cookies like the Triple DPS or the Triple Tank, Crimson Coral, Elder Fairy, Hollowberry. Those kind of comps are still going to be good. But if you are someone who wants to use Caramel Shoot and variations, then you might be able to utilize Caramel Shoot if you guys are wanting that. All right. And this is a comp that was shared by Andy Runner. Um, and I've been testing it out. It's not as effective as his just because his uh, all the cookies are, you know, very, you know, maxed out. Uh, five star essential on everybody. My caramel shoe is five star promotion and things like that. But it's decent. It's it's viable. It's workable. Uh, but starting off with the toppings real quick, it's going to be five of the swift chocolate for Elder Fairy. Highly focused on, uh, you know, extra cooldown, but the main target is going to be the damage resist, all right? Because Elder Fairy does need to survive. Um, and then, you you know, extra cooldown and things like that. And then for White Lily, five of the Searing Raspberry is going to be it. Uh, you want to have a four-second start for White Lily, all right? So you do want to focus on the damage resist and the extra cooldown if possible, um, but mainly focusing on the attack and crit too if you guys can. But damage resist is important because, you know, you're... DPS wants to survive, right? Uh, but make sure no Swift Chocolate for this particular build. And then for Frost Queen, instead of going with the Solid Almond or the Raspberry, we're actually going with the full on Swift Chocolate. A little bit different uh, because you want to have a three second start for Frost Queen. Because of the changes that has taken place for Frost Queen, you are able to have a three second start with a 17.3% cooldown at least for the substat. Uh, and then with the bonus, you know, she, uh, she gets the 22.3%, which makes a three second start. And then you wanna have the, the extra damage as this, extra crit attack definitely helps out as well. And then uh, for Caramel Shoe, you wanna use five solid almond. The reason why you wanna do that is because she is super, super, super squishy, all right? Uh, and this two may not be enough for some of you guys uh, depending on your relic, your land buff, and stuff like that, uh, your substats, sometimes even your caramel shoe with five solid almond might die. Then, you know, uh, that kind of shows you that it's probably not going to work for you. Uh, and I'm sorry to tell you, uh, but yeah, it's going to be a bit harder, in my opinion, for you to actually take advantage of caramel shoe. Uh, with a lower promotion as well as not so good toppings, all right, because she is squishy once again. Uh, so we want to focus on damage resist mainly and then extra cooldown if possible. Around 6 to 8% uh, definitely helps out. 8% is good. And then last one is going to be Snapdragon. Snapdragon is going to be using, uh, I'm going to use this one, 5 of the Swift Chocolate. Um, the cooldown at least 23.8% to maximize on the cooldown. Of course, you can go even higher with the... Uh, you know, extra biscuit, uh, but that's going to be something that you want to focus on the substat uh, for the toppings and the extra attack crit. And then uh, if you can, attack speed does help out as well. If you want to check out uh, your cooldown uh, skill or like the uh, initial cooldown for your skills when you enter the battle, you guys can do so by clicking on the toppings and you can see initial cooldown is four seconds. That's good. And then Frost Queen, it's going to be uh, three seconds so that's good as well and then for elder fairy i believe it should be right here one second here um so that is going to be good as well all right so for the biscuits um i'm just gonna keep it simple uh elder fairy extra hp extra damages cooldown definitely helps out for white lily extra damages bypass or damages uh crit attack cooldown all of those definitely helps out uh damages this bypass is probably far the best one for her uh, extra attack and crit as well uh because you just want to nuke the enemies frost queen now uh, damages this bypass is great extra damages this cooldown attack crit all those helps out as well but again damages this bypass is going to be amazing if you get the 
uh, you know, Crystal Jam to 30, you do get the uh, extra damages as bypass as well, but I'm not upgrading it at all anymore. So uh, there's that. Uh, Camel Shoot, extra damages is, uh, is good. Extra cooldown, extra, you know, HP defense are all really, really helpful too. Uh, I just have this one. Uh, damages is bypass is going to be useless for her, but, you know, there's that. Snapdragon has extra cooldown, extra cooldown, extra cooldown. Absolutely just amazing. Attack, crit, uh, all help out as well. Uh, the important thing about this particular comp is going to be the treasures, though. So, uh, initially when I did the review, I had the right idea. It's just the treasures were not the correct ones, all right? You want to mainly focus on the whistle, feather, as well as the vial. The reason why is because they're very squishy. And Caramel Shoe is also very squishy. You want the... Uh, DPSs to uh, possibly die out early, like Frost Queen, uh, get hit by the Golden Cheese or anyone like that, and then revive, give that extra healing from the whistle, allow Caramel Shoe to use the skill again, and then you are able to kind of sustain yourself. Uh, this comp is going to be great against most of the comps, except triple DPSs and uh, against the, uh, you know, the Paper Charm. If you see a Paper Charm, you want to go with the Crimson Coral, which is a 5-star chocolate. Uh, focusing on attack uh, damages as well as cooldown. And then uh, the Biscuit is going to be uh, just damages this or extra cooldown and things like that. Uh, but let's go into the arena here, guys. And then let me show you guys this team in action because I talked a lot. Let's go into the action part of things. All right, guys, once again, it's going to be most likely a triple tank i want to say again we're going to use the same comp here we go all right so this one is going to be a stardust so i want to see how this one's going to go uh stardust is going to uh wait where is stardust i guess stardust exploded from the frost screen in the beginning so that is amazing for us um again caramel shoes healing is not going to be as massive as like someone like snapdragon or icicle yeti uh but Definitely with the uh, friendly health buff, the extra attack, defense, and HP helps out in uh, allowing these two to deal more damage. Uh, Elder Fairy to be a little bit more tanky. Uh, Snapdragon to get that extra attack to increase the overall healing as well. Alright, uh, so here we go. Again, healing is not that great, but increases the overall healing for your Snapdragon. So you can see this uh you know the uh, difference although they even had the uh jelly launch we actually increased the healing even more uh and then you know uh the damage from our cookies uh generally does increase as well because that 6500 may not seem like a lot but it is a flat number and it does help out in dealing the extra damage that you might need uh for you to win the battle all right, guys, so you guys see right here, this is going to be a triple tank with White Lily. We're just going to use uh, the Elder Fairy one. So here we go. All right, so here we go, guys. You're going to be seeing that uh, Elder Fairy uses Frost Queen and then Caramel Shoe and then White Lily. So that's going to be the skill order you want right there. That was not what you wanted to see. You want to see Frost Queen die out first. And then you want to see Caramel Shoe get the extra healing from the whistle. And then, uh, you know, Frost Queen comes back alive. Uses the skill one more time versus the enemies. This one didn't work out too well. And that's the one downside that I have with this comp. Sometimes you're just going to see Caramel Shoe die out first. Uh, and that's going to be a big problem because you want the Frost Queen to take the feather. And I would say if my Caramel Shoe was a little bit higher in the Ascension, then it definitely works out. But that's not the case for me. And that's not the case for a lot of you guys. So just keep those things in mind when you guys are trying out this comp and when you guys are... Uh, deciding to build uh, this particular comp and try it out uh, yourselves. All right, guys, this one is going to be against the Crimson Coral White Lily with Frost Queen and Parface. So we're going to use the uh, Elder Fairy again still and then uh, go up against it. All right, here we go again. Uh, we're going to be able to see the Frost Queen use skill. Caramel Shoe. So another example of Caramel Shoe dying off, but still um, our you know cookies were strong enough to go and burst them. Uh, again, the 60%, right, right, it turns from 30 to 60%, so that increase, and then using our skill definitely dramatically increases the overall uh, damage as well. So there you guys go. But there you guys go, a way to use the uh, Caramel Shoe with Elder Fairy as well as Crimson Core if you guys would like. And if you guys don't have, uh, you know, a high level vial or you just don't have... Uh, you know, uh, you don't want to use this comp. Uh, you can also use something like the uh, scroll and the jelly watch as well. And then you have to replace um, Frost Queen with someone like Hollowberry. And this also works out. I personally think it's better to use the Elder Fairy with the Feather. 
uh, but this does add a bit more survivability because you have the damage focus and the taunt and the extra you know damages is buff too but Again, uh, it's going to be something that you have to try out with your own account just because of the fact that, you know, uh, your stats are going to be different from mine. Even from 5-star promotion, uh, Caramel Shoes, extra buff, uh, and everything might not even work out uh, just because, again, uh, the damage that you take is a lot and she's squishy. Uh, and when she dies, the health buff is gone. So just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, but test it out yourself. Again, shout out to Andy Runner for sharing the comp. Uh, and I will catch you guys all on the next one.